how to make this uh, market basket analysis the samples prospectus data and also some of the dashboard i can select select highlight and the go to sheet so we will also try to cover these three dashboard actions samples on samples data so maybe three again have coming to some students have hands on our market. Mm-hmm. So to make the market basket analysis, first what you have to do is uh, we have to self-join on the sample superstore data itself. So so let's remove the people and returns data. And with the hardest data only what we will try to do we will try to do a self join to do a self join first we have to double tap on the orders and if we pull the orders table again uh, we will just get an option to do join so what we will try here is we will try in the join and we will do on the order id And also, we will try to establish a relationship between the subcategories. For the time being, let's give not equal to. Maybe at the end of the session, we will just have some justification why we have to give whatever not equal to or less than. So we'll run till here. Yeah. Just for my information, what are the two different uh, data sets? The Both different... are same data sets. In the orders only, we are just doing a self join. Okay. Uh, and why would that be required? Uh, to uh, get the maybe at the end, I will say. we have to do the self join. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please continue. Subcategory from the one orders one to row, columns and subcategory to row. So count distinct order ready to column. So we gave not equal to in the join between the subcategory. So what's happening is um, we are getting all the elements which are brought together apart from the diagonal diagonal represents the equal to and the, the one which is brought alone and not equal to represents the uh, bottom and the top symmetrical part so now to just get only on the bottom along the uh, things which are brought alone we will just modify the relationship between the already so we will give less than or equal to so in that way we are able to get uh, uh, only the symmetrical portion either bottom or top and answering to Chaitanya's question so if we don't establish a relation uh, join on the sample superstore data what we will be able to get is only the uh, subcategory which are the customer has bought we will get only those and we won't be able to get the frequently bought together or uh, the cross mapping sort of things so for example uh, let me open the sample superstore data. Without any join. Mm. So here if we pull the category. Uh, 
sorry if you pull the sub category and just pull the sales or order you want or we won't be able to map accessories or any sub category with the others so to establish a mapping between the sub categories uh, each sub category with the other that's why we are establishing a self join and we are uh, trying to give uh, a relationship less than or equal to so in that way we will be able to map a relationship accessories from one data source with the all other sub categories and we are we will be able to get the count distinct order so which are is bought together we will be able to get those, those uh, sort of things that's why we are establishing a self join and the less than or equal to is there any other approach that can uh, give us the same result uh, question is uh, both for you and for everyone else also it generally this is what the approach that uh, people follow on market basket analysis you know so they uh, join at the order level uh, for each uh, uh, product so what are the other products purchased alongside that product so the basically the join is giving us that information because uh, if we don't join we only have one column of subcategory that was purchased in a particular order what we are doing by joining is we are getting an additional column of subcategory uh, which contains the other products that were purchased in, uh, in in that particular order alongside whatever the product that we are uh, looking at so normal market basket analysis uh, in tableau is done via this self join approach and, uh, there could be many other other ways but this is the most uh, followed or popular approach okay okay got it so now we are left with the formatting okay also we will try to color based on the number of order ids So here, what it says is like uh, 451 uh, orders are placed only with the appliances alone, and 59 orders are placed. Uh, 59 orders of appliances are placed along with the art. So this what it says, and um, maybe if you would like to add more value about sales, profit, all those, what we can do, we can just make a parameter, and uh, instead of count distinct art ready, we will drop the parameter in the text. so based on the parameter we select we will be able to get the values in the market uh, basket let's quickly try to do that so create a parameter we we'll list the number of orders okay. it's a calculated field using that parameter selection Metric selection is equal to three. Then count distinct order. Then okay. 
so we will drop this matrix selection into the text so once you select profit now uh, this thing entire thing will change but actually we can see the coloring is not happening according to the selection so we will drop the matrix selection in coloring as well so now based on the matrix we select we will be able to get uh, the market basket for so it seems uh, copiers uh, when it is bought alone it's the most uh, Uh, profit comes from the combination of only copiers alone. Uh, this what this uh, market basket does. So, uh, anyone have any doubts? Not from my end. Yeah, one one quick question. Uh, see, one of the issues of this particular thing is that see when you have uh, let's say copiers and copiers, right? So that. Uh, uh you now you can see it. that's the darkest uh cell in the on the you know chart right so is there a way for us to and that's the most useless one also by the way <laughs> right is that correct uh because uh, copiers plus copier doesn't make sense because it is just showing the same thing is that correct did i did i read it correct yeah hmm? so is there a way for us uh not to highlight those cells um maybe while uh, establishing the union instead of giving less than or equal to hmm. if we are interested only on the which is frequently bought together not on the individual product instead of giving less than or equal to we can give only less than so in that way the entire diagonal elements will get removed and we will get only the rest will get removed the diagonal elements. okay got it okay so here now we can see copies and storage gives the best uh, profit hmm. okay got it okay Okay, sounds good.